what are some key ways to differentiate celiac disease from lactose intolerance in USMLE? I've seen some difficult NBME questions. I want to know what you think about that. Yeah, that's fine. So obviously there's giveaways with the mechanisms of celiac versus lactose intolerance. For celiac, you have insensitivity to gluten slash gliadin in wheat, oats, rye, barley, and that causes flattening slash blunting of the intestinal villi. Whereas with lactose intolerance, you have lack of disaccharidase, lactase at the brush border, where you are going to have a normal intestinal biopsy in contrast to the blunting slash flattening of the intestinal villi with celiac disease. But a key thing you need to know for USMLE as per my observation across NBMU exams is that they really love iron deficiency anemia, IDA, with celiac disease because of the iron malabsorption in the duodenum secondary to the intestinal villi blunting. So if you get, let's say, a 10-line paragraph and you're not sure what's going on, not sure whether it's lactose intolerance or celiac, they tell you MCV is low, especially with low hemoglobin, that's celiac disease till proven otherwise, okay? I'd say that's probably one of the most underrated details on USMLE when we talk about these gastrointestinal differentials. Now, of course, there's things in celiac like anti-tissue transglutaminase IgA, anti-endomyceal, which is aka your anti gliadin slash gluten. Uh, there's more obscure things like increased risk of T-cell lymphoma. There's other things like if you have IgA deficiency, you can get a false negative anti-tissue transglutaminase IgA assay, which makes sense since it's IgA. But I'd say another thing for lactose intolerance that you can get it transiently, secondary to gastroenteritis, e.g. adenovirus or a rotavirus infection, where you get sloughing of the tips of the villi. Okay, so you can get weeks to months transient lactose, secondary lactose intolerance. They like that for pediatrics. So the same way I just said, IDA tells you it's celiac till proven otherwise. So they tell you a recent gastroenteritis, you want to think about lactase deficiency till proven otherwise. Also, you can have a positive hydrogen breath test and decreased stool pH with lactose intolerance. You'll have a normal d test with lactose intolerance. You'll have an abnormal d test with celiac disease because you need maintenance of the structural lining of the intestine to absorb the monosaccharide d where you have failure of intestinal lining architecture with celiac, but it's preserved with lactose intolerance.